How to Adjust True Femoral Antiversion Hip Prosthesis in Posterior Approach Ensure Correct Prosthesis Rotation The prosthesis must be correctly aligned in the femoral axial plane. The neck of the implanted femoral component should usually be coaxial with the native femoral neck, as in the illustration. Beta indicates the angle of antiversion of the femoral neck and the prosthesis. Avoid excessive anterior rotation, antiversion, or posterior rotation, retroversion, as the former predisposes to anterior dislocation and the latter predisposes to posterior dislocation of the prosthesis. Correct rotational alignment is achieved by maintaining the desired antiversion while preparing the femoral medullary canal with brooches. Posterior approach with the patient in lateral decubitus position. With this approach, the hip is accessed through a posterior capsulotomy, through which the femoral head is removed. Internal rotation of the lower extremity delivers the femoral neck for osteotomy and femoral canal preparation. The correct rotational orientation of the prosthesis requires reference to the femoral coronal plane, shown by flexing the knee to 90 degrees. An assistant holds the leg internally rotated so that the tibia is perpendicular to the table surface. The antiversion angle of the femoral neck and prosthesis, beta equals approximately 15 degrees, is then estimated. As illustrated. Thanks for watching. Subscribe Orthopedics Trauma in YouTube.